it was fantastic. It was an unbelievable experience, and I was just really glad that I did my homework going into the race. That we knew there'd be a pretty quick pace set up. Didn't expect them to go quite as quick as they did, but it, you know, the race was really set me up for my for how I rode my race. Um, you know, she did everything right. She traveled great, and she just she proved how good she really was against those tough fillies. It was just an incredible experience. It was really sweet. It was pretty nice, and especially to be doing it against the the best three-year-old fillies in the country. Um, you know, and she's always never really been favored in most of her races, the the big races. So you know, it's not, sometimes it's nice when you're the underdog and you're the big upset and come and surprise everyone. And Street Brand's always had lots of class, and I've always believed in her. And I think that's what's been a great connection about us both, that we've had so much trust in one another and we know each other so well that in the quotillion I, when I was back there, I wasn't worried. I just let her do her thing and she just took me for a fantastic ride. She's doing everything the right way. She's working well and she's setting up nicely for the next race and she's really maturing. Um, I'm not worried about the next horses that we're going to meet, like Midnight Bisu, because like I said, going into the cotillion, that everyone's beatable. And I think you've just got to be smart enough and know your races well enough to know ta tactics-wise how can you beat them all. Talk about your relationship with this filly, because she's not been she's not the easiest filly to deal with. No, she's but she's coming around. She's a lot better than she was one of the first times I rode her at Fairgrounds back in the fall last year. She's really coming into herself, and like today on the track before we worked, she stood out on the track for almost like a minute or two, whereas before you had to just turn around and go. You couldn't stand her still, and this morning we actually had to say, right, come on, let's go, girl. And, and um, Tony, who was with me on the pony, he said, wow, she's really becoming mature, and she's really relaxing. That's great, because she's never stood as quiet as that before. So that was really nice that she's finally, maybe she's maturing and become a nice mare. So mentally wise she's coming around she's doing really well and I think you know she's handling all the traveling really well that's been a huge you know the huge thing with her is how she's handling each trip that she's been on now because every track she's been to for her most recent races she's not getting to run from her store anymore she's having to travel and you know this time she'll be getting on a plane to travel to California new area again and maybe that's helping with her maturity that she's really having to grow up and take everything in properly and she seems to be handling it pretty well, and I think her and Larry have been doing a great job when they've been on these trips together. And now you've joined your brother as grade one, or group, group one winners, and yeah. I talk about, you know, that, you know, your brother's one of the top riders in England. Yeah, it's absolutely fantastic. It's nice to finally get a grade one, and now hopefully we'll be looking for a second grade one soon. It's just nice to be up there finally, and somewhere where I always believed I could be, and of course I had to keep chasing my brother, and now we finally matched him with one.